I'm here with uh, Howard Coston, the winner of the World Fly Fishing Championships for 2019. Howard, tell us about your week and, and how you're feeling. Yeah, I mean, it's been absolutely unbelievable, to be honest. I mean, it's, uh, it's the first time I've ever been to Tasmania. Uh, wanted to come for a, a lot of years. Um, I think this is like my 13th, maybe, World Championships. And, you know, I've been painfully close a couple of times before, a few points here and there. And uh, to finally get over the line is just absolutely unbelievable. It's uh, an incredible feeling. Fishing's been fantastic. And, yeah, I'm really lost for words, to be honest. And what do you think was the um, session that made the difference for you? Was there one particular moment or one particular fish that you lost, caught? Um, I think I got off to a really good start. The first session was, the, was really the only session that I actually won. Um, but it just sort of got me into the groove and I just kept taking it a day at a time. And the five day format helped me a little bit because I could just focus for three, four hours and then switch off. And it just sort of kept rolling and I kept in it. and. Yeah, just a uh, long, steady race, but we got there in the end. So. And uh, technique-wise, were, were you using techniques that, that you would normally use, or did you have to find you adapted a lot during the week? No, the biggest, the biggest issue was the wind. We had really, really strong gale force winds, and we do fish a lot in the UK in strong winds. So from a casting perspective, we were all quite well prepared for that. Um, but the techniques were actually just pretty similar. It was just coping with the conditions and... You know, the wild fish, so we had to work out exactly what was making the difference and, and luckily we sort of worked that out. So, yeah. And, and on that front, do you have your teammates to thank for it as well in the sense of the information shared during the week? Was that part of what, what enabled your success? Yeah, absolutely. In the last session, I caught uh, two of my four fish on one of my teammates' flies that he'd actually had seven out of the venue on earlier in the week and had our best result on that venue. So I fished his fly with a lot of confidence and got me two extra fish, which I might not have got, you know. So, yeah, it's all a part of a, being part of a team. So, fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. And how are you going to celebrate tonight? Um, you know, I might have an odd drink. I'm not going to have too many, but you never know. I had a few last night. I might have a few more tonight. So, <laughs> fantastic, yeah. Brilliant. All right. Thanks for your time, Howard, and congratulations. No problem. Thanks a lot. Uh, so we're here with David Garcia, uh, second place getter in the World Fly Fishing Championships. David, amazing week, incredible fishing throughout the week. Tell us about how you feel. Um, for me, it's, uh, in the first moment, I, th I thought uh, this competition uh, it, uh, will be difficult, but uh, very, very wild place and uh, wild road, three boat, three, three session for, for boat. It's difficult for Spain, but the result is unbelievable for us. But uh, I feel very happy and it's unbelievable uh, place in, in Tasmania. It, uh, it's very difficult for us. It's a little different, but uh, not too many. It's a different technique uh, from both. In the river, it's, it's good for, for Team Spain. But in lake is uh, very difficult. Has been very difficult. And how did the team help you during the week? Did you share flies that were working on the lakes? Did you start to to, to think about with the team what was working on the lakes? New new inf new information um, from yeah. your teammates. Yeah. Yeah. Karen and Peter Brooks. Uh, they they ask uh, they they show uh, good information for the lakes and the rivers also, but uh, very important in the lakes for, for a Spanish team. It's uh, a, little, a little bit difficult for us, the lake. Uh, last night, <laughs> long, long time the party. It's, it's necessary when, the, when the you close the competition, it's, it's enough, it's, it's good also. Christian, congratulations on your third place. Uh, you fished very hard this competition and you brought it home just in the last moment. How do you feel? It's crazy. It's crazy feeling that it was very long days and uh, crazy weather and I'm so happy. It's still about one fish and I, I catch the, uh, this fish. Yeah, it's really, really, really good feeling for me. And where did you catch that last fish and how big was it? Uh, last session I was on Mercy River 
uh, last beat, the 23, and uh, it was uh, absolutely amazing, amazing. 17 fish and a lot of browns, uh, over 30, 40 centimeter, and it was crazy. And did you know when you finished that session that you might have a chance of getting third place? I know that I needed the first place in a sector, but I did. I don't expect that it will be third place because it was so tight. Uh, we have together we had 22 places uh, with Delcor and Santi Amantini, and it was only about tips its uh, length of a fish. Yeah, it's amazing. Well, it's about as close as it gets. Congratulations and Thank great job Thank this you. week. Thank you very much. Really appreciate Thank it. You very much.